Hi friends, welcome back to Growing in the City. This is Ryan, and when I was researching my last episode on preparing for your first frost date, I noticed NOAA recently released a winter forecast for winter 2020 going into 2021. This winter forecast predicted temperatures, precipitation, and drought conditions across the nation. Here's what they found. First, let's look at temperatures. Much of the U.S. is expected to have a warmer winter than normal during 2020-21. The shades describe probability, not severity, however. So the darker the shade, the more likely it will be warmer. As an example, Texas is more likely to have warmer than usual temperatures in the winter compared to Tennessee, but Tennessee could see a more significant jump. So again, it's just probability, not necessarily uh, severity. For states in the southwest and southeast, this could further reduce the likelihood of facing frost temperatures this winter. Another interesting feature of this map is that the warmer band also includes the New England states. Typical or cooler conditions are expected throughout much of the northern U.S. states. Next, precipitation. Winter 2020 is expected to bring interesting results when it comes to precipitation. A northern band, including the Seattle and Portland metro areas, stretching east through the Great Lakes is anticipated to receive more rain than normal. There is no strong indication one way or the other as far as this second band flowing through the middle of the country. And finally, a major portion of the country expecting warmer temperatures is also expecting less precipitation. Now hopefully it doesn't turn out that way in the southern U.S. because look at this third map, current drought conditions. This map shows current drought conditions as of October 6, 2020. Current conditions show much of the West currently in drought. Uh, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, and Colorado are nearly engulfed in extreme drought or worse. Looking at the U.S. drought forecast for winter 2020 to 2021, conditions will be getting worse across most of the aggrieved states. Oregon, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Rhode Island, and Connecticut are the only states expected to get some drought relief this winter. Drought in most of the Southwest is expected to persist or worsen. If you have received value in this video so far, please give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Now, these two major climate factors, temperature and precipitation, remind me of something very important in gardening. If you've seen us before, you know that we provide weekly gardening tips to help you have a more successful growing season. If this is your first time watching Growing in the City, I welcome you to subscribe so you'll be able to find our content easier when it releases. So temperature and rain forecasts remind me how critically important it is to grow produce that is well suited for your area. You'll save yourself a lot of hassle by not trying to grow produce that isn't well suited for your hardiness zones. Now, bananas require a relatively unique environment to thrive. Now, thankfully, many fruits and vegetables have varieties that may be successfully grown in a variety of conditions. Your local nursery will have varieties that can be successfully grown in your area, so consider that as an option if you know, you've been looking for seeds online, for example. You can always take on greater challenges as you gain more experience. And if you're interested in learning more about your first frost date, click on the video posting now or on our other fall gardening content. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.